Hello, my name is Steve Bowler. I am a network technician here at Scott Air Force Base working for Disaconis. Uh, just to give you a little background about myself, I've been in the computer networking field for almost four years now, and I've been in the IT field for about eight years. Uh, I was in the uh, United States Air Force for four years of that time period. Um, where I was a 3CO, I uh, learned about learned a lot about uh, sysadmin, but I found that I, what I really liked was uh, network infrastructure. So I went and I got my CCNA at the uh, beginning of January 2006, and I haven't really looked back since then. Um, I have my, uh, my CCNP and I also have my uh, CCDP. Um, as long, uh, I also have um, every um, Cisco associate level concentration, uh, which is voice, security, and wireless. Uh, my ultimate goal is to get the CCIE. I'm studying for it right now. And I'm studying for my CCIP en route to my CCIE. So going through the BGP exam right now. And it's pretty intense. So anyway, that's a little background on myself. Uh, I create. I want to create these videos to, uh, to give uh, the average Joe out there um, who doesn't have thousands of dollars to spend on you know, actual Cisco hardware. Uh, I want to give them an opportunity to, uh, to to learn more, and with that, I'm going to be showing a bunch of videos using GNS3 and how you do a lot of uh, basic configuration of routers, and maybe we'll do some more advanced uh, things later. But I know that right now the economy is pretty hard, and a lot of people don't have money to fork over. With training material, so I wanted to create these videos and put them out for free, and then just see where that goes. And with that, I guess we'll get started. Um, GNS3 is is a, a, a router uh, simulation program that was developed by some guys in Europe, and it works very well. Uh, at layer three, there's some problems with layer two um, uh, with the switching, but you can do pretty much. You're not. You're pretty much not limited to anything at layer three. Every every uh, advanced uh, routing lab I've been able to to do with GNS3. Granted, my uh, computer utilization, my CPU utilization, uh, isn't at 100 percent. So you just got to watch CPU utilization. That's the big thing. Uh, other than that. Pretty much uh, golden with layer three. So, with that, let's open up GNS3 and I'm just going to run through it like you already have it installed. Um, double click on GNS3 icon. The program opens up and what we have here in the middle is this is pretty much where we're going to be putting all of our devices. We're going to drag them over here from the nodes where it says node types. Those are all the different types of routers that are supported with GNS3. Uh, you can also have ATM switches, uh, frame relay switches. Uh, you can simulate a cloud and I'll show you how to do that in the later videos. Um, anyway, you can use 1700s. 2600s, 3600s, 3700s, and 7200s right now are supported. So all you really need is a valid uh, Cisco uh, account to log into their web page and download their iOS images. Uh, once you have that, you're pretty much um, good to go. So all you need to do to get started is click on File and then new project and that uh, this right here is how you create a, a new you want to create a new project and name it 
whatever you want and then click over here on this button and you'll go to you know where you want to save uh, the project I'm just going to put on the desktop for now I'll name this example one and I'm going to just save over this hit OK and there now we have our project created now we can save it at any time by just going file save uh, which I highly recommend doing, you know, about every five or ten minutes when you're using it. That way, if something were to happen to the program and crash, you have it backed up, and you can just start it out where you left off. So, uh, what I also want to show you here is just how to get a couple of routers set up. Um, actually, before that, I'm going to go into the edit and show you how to to, uh, to get the iOS images into the GNS3 program. Just click on edit, go down to iOS images and hypervisors, and then <clears throat> you'll see a bunch of uh, images I already have here for my different you know, platform routers. Uh, what you can do to add images is just click down here where it says image file, click on this button, and just browse to where you have all of your iOS images on your local uh, hard drive. Um, I have a folder here, iOS images, and then what you do is you just click on any of your images and just hit open, and they'd all come back over here to where your iOS image here is. And what you can do is say I have a 3600. Um, you can choose the platform, you can choose the model you want to represent. Uh, we'll go over idle PC value a little later. Um, you can choose the, t the default RAM that you want. And then if you click save, and you can use, and then hit close. And what you'll do is say, um, I drag one of these 3600s over here. If I just mouse over the router, it'll show me a bunch of information, like where the image is that I got, the type of router, and all that other good stuff. Uh, what I wanted to show you is though, is as long as I keep moving more routers over here from the same platform, the 3600, uh, whatever image that I have for that router under here saved as, it's going to be the same image every time I drag this over. So if I, you know, if I mouse over all these, they're all going to be the same image file for 3600. Just wanted to show you that. Also, um, if you right click on one of these routers and go to configure, then you'll see you can get into the routers and start configuring them. Uh, R0 is the router that I've selected. You can go to the uh, general, you see where it has just a couple of things, the platform, model, iOS image. Um, you can select, you know, uh, more or less memory. Um, you can go under the slots, and this is pretty useful. This is where you can select your, basically, your slots for your router, your adapters. Uh, for slot zero, I'm going to just choose a, uh, a serial interface. So I'm going to click on uh, network module 4T, hit apply, OK and do the same with my other router, router 1. So I'm going to create here a, a simple point-to-point uh, -point, uh, configuration uh, so over serial interfaces. So right-click on configure, and right-click, go to configure, click on router 1, go to slots, and then choose 4T. Hit OK.